everyone, welcome back to the tower and happy belated 2017. I know I disappeared for like ages, like I typically do, but you know, new year, new me or whatever. So I'm gonna try to be consistent as I've said in the past. I have gotten like increasingly consistent with each year, so maybe this will be the year that I actually get on like a real schedule. We'll see. Also, please excuse the fact that uh, our Christmas decorations are still up. Angela and I are determined to keep it Christmas in here for as long as humanly possible. So that's probably gonna be in my videos for a while. Oh well. So today I'm making a requested video and that is to talk a little bit more about my experience working in strollers, which is honestly something that I really never thought anyone would ask me to talk about, but I'm cool with it. And it's actually pretty cool timing to make this video because January 20th, was the three year anniversary of me beginning my college program, so it's kind of a fitting time to make this video, I would say. If you've been subscribed to me, you probably know that I made a video talking about my experience working in merchandise a long time ago, like it's one of my first videos. Um, I'll link it in the description below in case you're looking for a more general description of the merchandise role. But today we're gonna be deep diving into strollers specifically. For those of you that may not know, I worked in Future World at Epcot in merchandise. And part of the merchandise role in that area is to work in stroller rental. So I guess I'll start by just sort of breaking down the different positions within stroller rental. Keep in mind, I did only work strollers at Epcot. I never branched out to any of the other parks for strollers, so this may not be the same in every park, but at Epcot, this is what it looked like. So basically, the way it works in most roles at Walt Disney World is you clock in on a computer in your backstage area, and when you clock in, you get an assignment. That assignment tells you what position you'll be doing, if you'll be relieving someone from break, details like that. The simplest assignment that you can be given in strollers, I would say, is stroller cleaning. Stroller cleaning at Epcot, basically you would stand in this area that was roped off to the side of the cash registers, and there would be someone there who was stroller valet, which I'll get into in a minute, and then several people there on stroller cleaning. And it's exactly like it sounds. You get to clean strollers. In Epcot, our stroller cleaning area was completely outside and not under any sort of covering. So summer months on stroller cleaning were really brutal. Thankfully for me, I had already been there for a while come summertime, and typically stroller cleaning tended to go to newer people. Um, the longer you were there, it seemed that you started to get put on other positions more often. I don't know if that was a coincidence or not, but I'm gonna say probably not. So that was good. By the time it got super hot, I barely ever cleaned strollers, which was nice. So basically, you're given a cleaning solution, some rags, gloves, and then there's a trash can where you can put everyone's trash from their stroller. And as people are exiting the park, they drop the stroller off with you. You take it from them and push it into the stroller cleaning area and clean it. One thing to note here, if there's any sort of bodily fluid in the stroller, you don't have to clean it. That's not your responsibility. So whenever you see bodily fluid in a stroller, you are to call custodial and push that stroller off to the side and custodial will handle it. So no, you do not have to clean any sort of code V's or poop out of a stroller, thank God. Just melted chocolate, dropped goldfish, whatever other sticky substances children put all over their stroller. Um, and then once you clean them, you push them into the long line of strollers that are now ready to be rented again. Stroller cleaning is not a glamorous position. It's kind of gross at times, but there are perks to being on stroller cleaning. Stroller cleaning is where I met most of my friends and where I formed most of my friendships because like I said, there's typically multiple people on that position and your only real responsibility is to be cleaning strollers. You're not really interacting with guests at all. You're just taking the stroller and cleaning it. So that means you can have conversations that's not frowned upon. And typically you're on that position for, you know, at least an hour or so, so, so definitely perks to it. It's a very social position to be in. Another assignment you can be given in strollers is stroller and wheelchair valet. Basically there's a little podium at the front of the little roped off area where people clean strollers and stroller and wheelchair valet stands there and waits for someone to bring them tickets. Because when you rent a stroller or wheelchair, you are given a ticket to indicate what you rented, whether it be a stroller, a double stroller, a wheelchair, like whatever, you're given a little ticket. If you buy multiple days, you get multiple tickets. That's how that works. And that's pretty much all you do is roll them the stroller or wheelchair of their choice 
and if they didn't get a name tag when they paid for their stroller or wheelchair, you give them a name tag so that they can put it in the little slot to identify their stroller. The third type of assignment you can be given in a stroller rental location is POS. POS means that you are working the cash register. At Epcot, there were two registers, and that was by far my favorite position to be on. That's where you get to have your longest interactions with a guest in strollers, because everything else is pretty much like, hand them what they need and go. But here you're actually having a conversation with them, helping them decide what they need, answering any questions they have typically, things like that. So I really enjoyed being on register. Being on register, you're clearly responsible for ringing people out for their purchases. However, being on register in strollers is a little bit different from being on register in another merchandise location. Because not only are you responsible for ringing guests out for purchases, but you also have to be aware of the policies and things surrounding wheelchairs and strollers and ECVs. Especially when a guest rents an ECV, there's a deposit involved. And so you have to make sure that they know they have to return their key and their ECV to get their deposit back. There's paperwork that they have to sign. So there's a little bit more involved than at a typical merchandise location. Another assignment you can be given in stroller rental is ECV valet. ECV valet is basically the same thing as stroller and wheelchair valet, but for ECV rentals. On ECV valet, you're responsible for two tasks. The first is to give ECVs to guests that have rented them. A guest will come up to you and show you a paper that says that they rented an ECV. When they do that, you get them onto an ECV. If they request a large ECV, you go in the back and bring out a large ECV for them. Or if they're good with a regular one, you just let them have a seat on the one that's out there. There's usually several ECVs lined up and ready for guest rental, so you normally don't have to go retrieve one. You let them have a seat, you explain how to drive the ECV and like what all the controls are, and then you summarize the terms and conditions for them, they sign the terms and conditions, and they're on their way, unless they have any other questions for you. And the second task is to park returned ECVs. When a guest comes back and is ready to drop their ECV off, they'll leave it with you, and you will push it into the ECV garage so that it has time to charge. There are parking spots for each and every ECV because they all have to fit somewhere, and they all have to charge so that they're ready for the next guest. So you have to be able to put them perfectly straight within these little lines on the floor, and then make sure they're charged without tangling up every cable. Another assignment you can be on in stroller rental is ECV run. And this is definitely one of the more exciting and fun positions to be on. So if a guest breaks down on a Disney rented ECV, whether it be because their battery died or just because it stops working for whatever reason or because they just don't know how to use their ECV, whatever the case is, they can notify a cast member and a cast member will call stroller rental and then the person that answers the phone will let ECV run know ECV run then takes a new ECV to that guest and brings back the broken one. And there's two different ways that you can do that. So option one is to take a tow ECV. The tow ECV is bigger and faster than a regular ECV and has the capability to pull another ECV behind it, which is pretty cool. The other option is to drive the new ECV to the guest and either roll back the one that wasn't working because you can put it in neutral and just completely push it, which is not even hard, or most of the time it actually still worked. Like either it was just running a little bit more slowly because it was starting to die but was still perfectly fine, or the guest just wasn't doing something correctly. Either way, most of the time you could drive back the broken one. And from my location, it was anywhere to, I'm pretty sure it was Towers. So the two gift shops at the very front of World Showcase, anywhere from there to the front of the park was our territory. And then anything beyond that was for International Gateway, which is also a stroller and wheelchair rental location. Uh, other than register, it was definitely my favorite. So something to look forward to. It's a really fun job to have. One of the other assignments you can get is called tasking. It's not something that's exclusive to being in stroller rental. It's pretty much everywhere. Attractions does it, quick service does it. A lot of people do it. Basically, you pull a task when either one, every position is full and you're kind of overstaffed and they don't have anywhere to put you. So you'll just keep pulling tasks. I loved that. I had one day where I pulled tasks for like two hours and it was great. When you pull a task, it basically says, go make a magical moment until X time. 
so you'll go and make a magical moment. When X time rolls around, you have to go back and get another assignment. When you get another assignment, it could tell you to go relieve someone so they can go home or go to break, or it could tell you to task again. So it could then say, go pin trade with a guest. And you do that for however many minutes, and it'll just keep giving you tasks. It definitely passes the time because literally every 15 to 20 minutes you're going back to the computer to get another one, you know, or it's just a one shot thing and then you have to go relieve someone. But everyone loves tasking. It's a lot of fun. I don't know anyone that was like, oh no, I pulled a task. Another position you can pull in Epcot Stroller Rental is called Traffic. I know that I've talked about Traffic before. I think it was in my favorite memories video. Traffic was by far one of my absolute favorite parts of being a cast member. And I miss it a lot. And when I walk through Epcot at night after Illuminations, I get really emotional when I see people on traffic. Traffic, you're basically directing stroller, wheelchair, and ECB traffic. Also not a requirement, but almost all of us would wear Mickey gloves and give kids high fours, and you tell everyone to have a magical night, and it's just the perfect end to a day, honestly, and I miss it a lot. And the final position that you can pull at Epcot strollers is glow cart. I'm pretty sure this can be different in every park, but for Epcot, at least during my program, if you were in strollers around five o'clock, you would pull glow cart. And that meant that you worked the glow cart that was in front of Spaceship Earth. Those are the basics of stroller rental. And I'm sorry if this video got a little long and rambly, but like, there's actually quite a bit to it. And I wanted to be detailed. Despite the fact that it's not the most glamorous of jobs to have, I really did enjoy my time there for the most part. And I miss it a lot. I think about it a lot. And like I said, when I walk through Epcot, I get a little choked up every time I walk by. If you guys have any questions at all about working in strollers, working in merchandise, the college program, or just anything at all, let me know in the comments below and I would be more than happy to answer. Or if you have any requests for future videos, because I love making content that I know you guys want to see. So please, if you have something you want me to talk about, let me know and I will gladly make a video on it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me if you enjoyed this video. And as always, for more magical Disney content, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Have a magical day and I will see you real soon. Bye!